Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, so I'm filming with my phone today, so uh, my camera is dead. So hopefully the uh, footage comes out okay. So just thought I'd share with you some more new additions. Um, there's going to be lots of these videos uh, over the coming weeks and months. So in frame at the moment is a uh, seven-sided Mirio Stigma uh, that I purchased. Um, I purchased this guy off a collector um, who was doing a bit of a clean out. Um, big, beautiful, healthy plant, as you can see. And I don't actually have this one, so um, really nice to have in the collection. And I purchased a couple of other plants uh, of this uh, guy as well, so I'll just put her over and show you them. Um, so there's this guy here who's um, a little bit rough looking. Um, so these, the, these plants, uh, where they come from, they're a little bit stressed. Uh, the guy has hundreds if not thousands of plants um, I didn't actually go there myself a friend of mine picked them up for me um, so he has a bit of trouble looking after them all um, as you would with that many plants so this guy here as you can see has a bit of a split um, it's also this is all stressed here as well um, too much sun and not enough water uh, but this is fresh growth as you can see that bee pattern there that's um, how it'll come through so I've got him sitting in one of the shadier spots in the collection um, but this guy we used predominantly for um, being a seed plant um, so as you can see there's some flowers there and uh, this guy here I haven't counted the uh, ribs uh, let's see uh, it's five and a half because that rib there is not fully formed um, but still a, a nice looking plant in about uh, a year or two he'll look a lot better uh, once that V growth um, here continues down and this older tissue away um, and I'll show you this guy as well this plant is <laughs> absolutely incredibly huge um, and it's grafted onto Harissia um, which is a very very good long-term stock uh, for grafting it's not one that I use um, but it is uh, very good I'll just show you the top of the plant it's a bit difficult to move the shelf so just your standard sort of five star um, a five uh, ribbed Mirio stigma um, but this plant is absolutely enormous I can't even get my hand around it um, again quite stressed um, but a beautiful plant there is some mealybug um, living in there which I'll get rid of um, I will treat it with a systemic uh, pesticide uh, but <clears throat> uh, I had to give it a water first uh, because it was water stress, uh, stress from not enough water. So I don't like to use uh, pesticides when plants are really, really stressed because um, it can kill them. Um, but uh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful plant. Um, I'm still deciding whether to degraft it or keep it as is. Um, and then moving down here, uh, this is a <coughs> Mirio stigma. Excuse my dog, <laughs> a Mirio stigma nuda. Um, again, huge plant. I can't even get my hand around it. Um, incredibly beautiful. The nudas are one of my uh, favourites of the astrophytums. Um, but uh, that's that there. So uh, he's it's stressed as well, but he'll actually come good um, in my, much quicker time. Probably around six to twelve months, maybe next spring. Um, now I'll also share with you just some other new additions I filmed. That is a Lophophora Huashi, I think it's called. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. I'll put the name of it up. Oops, sorry, um, wrong finger. Um, <laughs> up here somewhere. Um, and then moving across is. This guy here, this is another Lophophora uh, Giordiani, I think it's called, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's it there. So very, very different uh, to the first one. Um, and then these are my other lofts here. So this guy up here is your standard Williamsi, Williamsi I, however you say that one as well. Um, so the Giordiani is very, very different to that. Um, anywho, um, oh, there's a more astros over here as well. Uh, thanks for watching uh, everyone and happy gardening. Bye!